I'm glad you're with me today. We're going to talk about faith, not fear. Uh, the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. And of course, we know that fear comes by hearing, not by the Word of God. It comes by um, really just everyday living and information that comes our way. But um, Hebrews 11.1 1 says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And it goes on to say that faith is how that uh, people in the Bible that we read about, how they experience so many wonderful, powerful victories because they had faith in the promises of God. I love to read back through my notes. I have books and books of notes I've taken through the years. And this morning I opened up one and I had written in there, there are 7,000 promises in the Word of God, and I'm claiming them all. So uh, I just want to encourage you as you read the Bible, and I do encourage you to sit down and, like I say in my detox book, uh, the Bible is priority letters. There are priority letters from the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that are there for you to receive that are life-changing, that are, are promises which are seeds. The Bible talks about the Word of God being exceedingly precious promises to us, or let's say seeds to us, uh, that will help us to live uh, the divine nature, to live the life that God put in us to live. Uh, you know, it says, I believe it's in Galatians, that the fullness of the deity actually lives in us. And whenever we read the promises, the life of God that is in us is released with our words and we can begin to experience the good things that God has for us. You know, one of my uh, favorite scriptures, of course, is you hear me talk about it all the time. Jesus said that he came to give us life and give it to us in a more abundant way. And as I did a word study on that, it means a life that's uh, above normal, that's super added, supernatural, overflowing. And, you know, when you have an abundant life, that overflows to people in your sphere of influence. And, you know, that's what the Lord has for each one of us. He wants us to live a life of faith and not a life of fear. Well, we know also in that John 10.10 10, that it says that our enemy, Satan, and Satan actually means the arch enemy of good, that he came for three purposes, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Well, he wants to steal your vision of, uh, you know, your destiny. He wants to uh, get things happening in your life that lock you up from believing the truth of God. and uh, But the more that you realize the promises of God and have faith in the God who made the promises, and He did create you. You know, it was in the beginning God. And if you just put your focus on the fact that you know, God is a great and mighty God. He has great and mighty plans for you. You're made in His image and in His likeness. And just focus on the faithfulness and the faith and favor of God. I believe that great things will begin happening in your life. You may need to uh, repeat the uh, same promise over and over again until it starts producing that life in you. Because, you know, again, what we uh, have experienced is sometimes the lie and the fear tries to get bigger than the faith and the truth. So uh, faith will set you free. Faith is a gift from God, and uh, it will change your life. So I want to encourage you today. Faith is the substance of things that you can hope for. Thank you.